Hello students, today we are going to learn two important applications of op-amp that is integrator and differentiator. And a differentiator is an operational amplifier circuit where when you give an input signal, the, the circuit produces a differentiated waveform at the output. Okay, that is a differentiator. It's a operational amplifier circuit wherein you give an input signal and the, the differentiator circuit produces the differentiated waveform at the output. I'll show you with certain examples. Here I have shown certain input signals and the output signal of the uh, differentiator. And you can see when you give a square wave, you get spikes like this. I'll just, we can understand how this happens. Because we said that a differentiator produces a differentiated waveform at the output. So when you can see that, so when the signal, voltage of the input signal varies very fastly or the rate of change of the input voltage is very fast, you know that the output signal is going or at the output of the differentiator you are going to get the high value because we said that the output signal of a differentiator is dVn by dt. So variation of the input signal actually um, determines what will be the output signal. So when the variation of the input signal is very high, you can say you are going to get a very high output signal. Now you see a square wave, here you can see the signal varies from 0 to uh, the some, some high value uh, within a very little time. So this here you can see that dVn by dt along this line uh, is very high and that is why at the output you get the dVn by dt value as very high at this. So this is the output at this point and now you can see that from here to here the input signal doesn't change, right? So variation of the input signal with the uh, time is zero here. So obviously, the, uh, at the output, what you are going, getting to what uh, what you are going to get is dVn by dt equal to zero, and that is why the highest values uh, significantly or within very little time it drops to zero. And after that, you know that till this time, this dVn by dt is equal to zero, so that will remain as zero itself. Then. At this point, you can see that the voltage is decreasing, right? So when the voltage is decreasing, you can say that dVn by dt actually becomes very high or the voltage decreases very sharply. So that means dVn by dt value is very high and it is negative. And you are going to get a negative spike here. Again, it, it is again it after that, you know that uh, here during this, the voltage ever again, again remains as zero. So that means no vol voltage change. So dVn by dt will be drop, dropping down to zero and then it will remain till zero at this point, till this point. So this is how actually you are going to get an output signal. So I have explained to you how a square wave becomes a spike in, at the output of a differentiator. Now you can understand how these triangular wave become a rectangular wave and how the sine wave become a cosine wave in the case of a differentiator. Okay, now we shall understand what is the peculiarity or what is the or how a differentiator circuit will look like. This is the circuit of a differentiator and the major difference between the a normal inverting amplifier and the differentiator circuit is that the resistance, input resistance which is connected at the input side is replaced by a capacitor. And you know that here actually the voltage variations are um, input voltage variation is actually getting reflected at the output, right? So always uh, in differentiator and integrator circuits, the actually the resistive component, one of the resistive component is actually replaced by a capacitor where you know that capacitor will have a frequency dependence feature. So with the variation in the frequency of the input uh, signal applied, the capacitive impedance changes. And that all thing you have already studied. So that is why in differentiator circuits and in the greater circuits, capacitor come into picture um, in addition to the resistors. So here, 
um, you can say that the differentiator circuit is a normal inverting amplifier itself where you give the signal only at the in the inverting terminal but then here the input signal is applied to the inverting terminal not with the help of a resistor but with the help of a capacitor so this is the case of a differentiator circuit and we shall just understand what is the output of the uh, signal and obviously the output of the differentiator circuit will depend upon the capacitor and the resistance which we use this is the output of the differentiator circuit where output signal is equal to minus rf into the feedback resistor and the capacitor C into dVn by dt and you get a negative sign why because this uh, this is an inverting amplifier basically and that is why you will get an inverted signal here so output voltage VO is actually equal to minus RF into C into dVn by dt so that is why we said that we get at the output the differentiated waveform which you give at the input signal but the voltage output voltage also depends upon the value of the feedback resistor and the capacitor which you use in the circuit now we shall discuss about the integrator circuit and integrator circuit is a op amp circuit where uh, you give an input signal and you get out at the output the integrated waveform of the input signal. So just as you get in the differentiator and a differentiated output, in the integrator you will get an integrated um, waveform of the input signal. And this is basically the reverse of the other, right? From the uh, in differentiator you will get the output signal and at that output signal if you give to the integrator you will get the uh, integrated value at the output. So uh, it is very easy to understand the circuit also. This is the circuit of an integrator and it is very interesting to see that the circuit has a very slight modification when compared to the differentiator circuit. In the differentiator circuit you know that this Rn was replaced by a capacitor but in an integrator circuit when you compare with that here Rn remains the same though. The input signal is given to the inverting terminal through this resistance only but the feedback resistor is now replaced by a capacitor. So that is the only difference between an integrator and a differentiator. In differentiator you keep C here and R here. In integrator, so it was in differentiator you kept the C here and R here and in the integrator you keep the R here and the capacitor C here. Okay, so now uh, I'll show you just one example of the waveform. In this case, if you give a rectangular wave, you get a triangular wave. Just as uh, the thing which you see seen in the differentiator, just opposite to that. Okay, in the uh, differentiator circuit, when you give a uh, triangular wave, uh, you will get the rectangular wave here you get the rectangular wave, you will get the triangular wave back. So this is an integrator circuit. Now we just have to see what is the output uh, signal, how the output signal will be, what will be the output signal when compared to the input signal. Here the output waveform V out can be written as minus 1 by R in into C integral V in dt. 0 to t. So integral of the input signal is what you get at the output signal. So this is the actual value. So it only not only depends upon the integral uh, part alone, it also depends upon the value of the resistance and the capacitor which you use in the uh, circuit. So this is all about the differentiator and integrator. You have to learn only the uh, major uh, circuit part and also basically uh, how the output will look like. So you have to learn the differentiator and integrator um, on, a, on a, in a brief way. Uh, the further closer analysis of the circuit and the further closer inspection of the integrator and differentiator, differentiator circuit you will learn later in your postgraduate classes. So now you have learned two major applications. One is integrator and differentiator and both integrator and differentiator are two applications of inverting amplifiers and in both of them you use a capacitor instead of one of the resistors in the case of a normal inverting amplifier and in one thing you will get a differentiated waveform and the other one you will get an integrated waveform at the output. So that is all. Uh, thank you very much.